Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back to Chippa in the third person. How are you guys doing? Um, I just, as I was about to record this, watched the trailer for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. The uh, Mr. Rogers film starring Tom Hanks. Did you guys see... Uh, Mr. Rogers documentary thing was amazing, right? Um, well, this looks amazing. I, uh, having a hard time keeping it together right now. Um, whew. Uh, well, Tom Hanks looks perfect. I, I really like this new chapter in his life where he embodies real people. He did it with Sully. Um, he's doing it here with Mr. Rogers where they they change his look enough that it's impossible to mistake that it's supposed to be Mr. Rogers, but it's also impossible to mistake that it's supposed to be Tom Hanks. And instead of trying to get an accent perfectly down, he kind of talks like Tom Hanks but in Mr. Rogers' cadence so he can be a little bit more real, a little bit more himself, and god damn is it perfect. I, um, I just want to go give him a hug, man. Um, it, the, the look looks perfect, the music looks perfect, the sets, Mr. McFeely, the, the point, there doesn't seem to be a cynical bone in the damn trailer's body. I, I need this, I need it now, and I need to watch it every morning before I go to work. And I need to watch it when I come home to remind me that shit can suck, man. Shit can suck. I don't mean to swear in a thing talking about Mr. Rogers. Thing, things can be rough, but man, wow. Wow. Um, thank you. I needed that trailer today. Anyhow, hey everybody, um, I, I have word that the ticket sales are finally going up for the Talkbuster Live in Salem, it's a little over a month away, I'll be sharing that, got my Make It a Blockbuster Night shirt from Target on to celebrate that, hopefully that uh, that happens. Um, released a new Chipman Brothers Tangent over the weekend, I got um, to talk to Bob right after getting out of Hall H from the Marvel presentation. On the Comic Con, so as about as live of a scoop as I could have without actually being there and live tweeting it. Um, so that's a really cool, shorter, maybe like 40 minutes long episode of the tangent talking about um, the Marvel panel. Um, great stuff. You guys should watch it and check it out. Um, you know, I'm incredibly excited about the whole lot of it. I think the idea of us getting more Blade is freaking great. It would be even cooler. In fact, you know what? I just want this. I want Guillermo del Toro to come back and direct the new Blade movie. His look, it, it kind of falls into the Pacific Rim category with him, where, and even Hellboy 1, for that matter, where the material he's working off of isn't necessarily the best fit for him. I, I, and again, I don't mean like Pacific Rim. No, let, let me rephrase that. The dialogue and things, you know, when he's working in his native tongue, are often a bit more layered. Um, Pacific Rim, he was going for a very, like, rough and tumble, um, you know, anime, manga, uh, it's not manga, um, kaiju thing. But the dialogue rubs some people the wrong way. It's really, like, light. Um, I, I think it works great for what he was making. Um, some people don't. Uh... Blade 2 is kind of the same way. Blade 2 is a big silly mess. But goddamn if the movie doesn't look fucking amazing. And goddamn it if the horror isn't the best in the whole series. And I just want him back. I want him making an MCU movie, for Christ's sake. Um, but let's just do it. Let's get Del Toro to make an MCU movie. It would be great if it was Blade. Um, listen to mine and Bob's thing to get more on it. But holy shit, Blade... Um, it's all just awesome. I love James Gunn's response to how come nothing about Guardians 3 because this could be him coming in 
doing a big like victory lap like haha I'm back motherfuckers you know what I mean but instead non-existent um it's mentioned on the slate it might not even be mentioned on the phase four slate picture if I'm not I don't I don't know um because that's later but uh you know his response hey I work for another company and I'm working on Suicide Squad 2 right now you know but there was plenty of other meat there for you and don't worry Guardians 3 is happening is a very cool thing and um, that makes me really happy um, what else oh Scott Derrickson coming back for Doctor Strange 2 and rumoring that it's going to be a big horror or at least scary thing I, I Derrickson is a fascinating director um, and I hope they bring back Mass and Worm um, their what, real name Oh, see Robert Cargill. I don't want to use the any cool names for those people that aren't there anymore. But see Robert Cargill. Um, they're both they them working together is fascinating. Um, I absolutely love Sinister. Um, and I basically pretty much love everything they've worked on together. So I I can't wait to see you know the. the the kind of freaky parts of Doctor Strange were exactly what I expected from Derrickson and just seeing him kind of lean into the freaky side of himself, the scary side of himself a little bit more. I, I just can't wait to see that. Like, they kind of downplayed um, uh, Mads Mikkelsen's character. You know, he's a cool villain but doesn't have a lot to do, but like the, the bleeding eyes when they're taken over and everything was pretty creepy shit and I, I like to see them go into that some more. Um, over the weekend, I went to Ikea, um, I bought some stuff for the house, and I was in Ikea sitting down, and saw a guy sit down with a couple, and he was sitting on one side of the table and having a very, very, like, calm, but obviously very intense discussion, and it reminded me, the guy looked just like Pele, or Pelly, I think it was Pele, um, from Midsommar, the, the guy who's on his, um, mission where he goes off, goes to college and kind of lures some people back to be part of this, um, ceremony, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it. And that's what I thought was going on, you know, in my head is like, oh crap, he's talking them into coming to his, you know, Midsommar celebration and, um, you know, and then all hell breaks loose. But, um, I got to thinking, and this has become one of the most popular things I've ever tweeted, so I'll talk about it here. I, I got to thinking, oh, you know, we're in Ikea, Sweden, that area, midsummer. Okay, so what if the whole time they were just in an Ikea and those, like, mushrooms and everything that they gave them at the beginning made them think that they actually made it to that village and saw all that stuff. But they were really just wandering around in Ikea and, you know, um, all of it was in their heads and they come down and wake up in an Ikea. Of course, maybe some of their friends have actually been killed in the in the mix. Maybe the Ikea is on fire. Uh, I, I don't know. But um, just be kind of a cool ending. So, yeah. And then on Sunday, we went to the beach and hung out in the yard. And that's why I'm a little red here. I put on a ton of sunscreen and kept putting it on. But didn't save the fact that they were two of the hottest fucking days um, around here in a couple of years. And, uh, I brought this on myself. I also, um, was playing with the slip and slide yesterday and hit it a little bit too hard. And I think I bruised a rib. I hope I didn't break it. I think I bruised a rib, but it's all in good fun. Love those freaking slip and slides. So yeah, that's what I got for today. Happy to be back again for another one of these. Um, and until then, this has been the chip. Uh, I'll see you guys on the other side.